In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your videos from Adobe Premiere Pro with a transparent background. No After Effects, no Photoshop required. It's all done in Premiere. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a brand new sequence created, we're first gonna begin by creating some sort of asset. So we'll create a text item. So we'll go File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll create some sort of basic text. Now, this doesn't need to be perfect because I'm just showing you an example here. But we'll just center this up and we'll exit from the legacy title window once we've created that. Now, we'll drag that onto video layer one. And as you can see, we've got this text. It's on a black background. And we'll just add a little bit of animation to this. So we'll pull this down to roughly 50% on the scale. Create a brand new keyframe. Move that a half a second to the right will increase the scale then we'll move another half second to the right and we'll pull that down to around 100. So as you can see we've got this text and there's this really really basic animation applied to it. Now if we have a look at our timeline you can see that we've got our title on video layer one and then there's nothing else on this timeline but when we look at the monitor there is a black video. Now, when we export our videos normally in an MP4 or a H.264 or a QuickTime format, for example, the black video will be there on the export. But in this method, we're going to remove that black video and this means only the text will export. And this means when we drop that video back into Premiere on top of something else or use that video in another project, it basically means the black background won't be there and it will sit perfectly on top of whatever footage you drop it onto. So in order to do that, we're just going to go to file. We'll go to export and media. Now in the export settings tab, we want to go over to format and we're going to go down to QuickTime. Now from there, we're going to go down to preset. We'll select the NTSC and then we'll change that to GoPro Cineform RGB 12 bit with alpha at maximum bit depth. That is a bit of a mouthful, but that is the setting that we want to go with. So we'll select that. And then of course you can select the output name and you can select a destination for this and a name. I'm just gonna leave it a video one underscore one. Now moving down, we can see that the video codec is GoPro Cineform. You want to leave that like that. We've got our quality, make sure that's all the way up to five to ensure we get the highest possible exports. Move down, we make sure we render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, tick that as well. And then we'll just go ahead and we'll press export. And that's gonna take a few seconds to export. Now, I'm just going to delete that title from our project and I'm just going to throw on some random footage onto the timeline. So as you can see, we've got this London Eye video. There's nothing else on the timeline. Now, from here, I'm going to go into our finder and we'll search for the video that we just exported. And there it is, video one underscore one dot MOV. Now, if we try to play this back, Unfortunately, it won't play if you're on Mac. Annoyingly, I don't know why it does this, but we can't play it back from our finder. But when we drop that into Premiere Pro, so we just drag that onto our timeline and we drop it onto video layer two, we can see the text is there and there is no black background behind that text. It's sitting on top of our London Eye footage really nicely. So there you go. If you want to export your videos without the background and you want a transparent background straight from Premiere Pro, then this is the method that you want to follow. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.